Hi there. This is BB. It's a short video. I was thinking of something last night based on this V2K or V2S. What I call it V2S voice is called. I don't know what the what the K is for. I mean, I don't. You, you, when to me, when you when you put all these titles on this, you make it so real. It's a bunch of assholes with some kind of fucking device, what kind of fucking technology that they're able to talk directly to the person. They're able to turn this frequency to the frequency of the person, the individual. I'm guessing if someone is next to me, they're not going to hear. Unless they're in tune with me. They're vibrating almost on the same frequency with me. Okay, you see? When I talk, things come out in a sense and they start to make sense. If I'm with someone and they're vibrating on that same frequency, they'll hear. Now, this will probably go another way. Someone else will start to vibrate on the same frequency. My, my, my. That's okay. That's okay. I'm beginning to come to terms with what's okay and what's not. Because I don't have a choice. I really don't have a choice. I just look at the lengths people will go to for some money. Money. Grand old greenbacks. They're looking for money. They're just looking for money. And innocent people get messed up. Innocent people pay the price for monsters. Innocent people pay the price for monsters who look who are looking for a little recognition. They like recognition. They want to be recognized based on somebody else's sweat, blood, and tears. People maybe who they profess to love. I don't understand the concept of this. That's not love. That's called using, utilizing human trafficking. Like meat sacks. That's all we are, like meat sacks. It's like we're meat sacks, pieces of meat to be traded. Now I'm thinking of the task force. There's a short video today. It's a short video. Because this was mentioned to me by psychics before, using the same terms. Like pieces of meat. It's called human trafficking. And I need to, it's almost like the man, the male in a relationship, rest, he, wants, he wants to taunt me with like, uh, um, put me in this, you know, they pivot you around. Well, these people are in my timeline, whoever they are. Even him, the grand old little monster he is. See, I'm not the only woman. I'm not the only person. I'm sure there's men too. What this man gets from this, what these people get from this, I don't understand. What, did they, what pleasure they derive from this type of behavior. I don't understand. But my point is, these words were mentioned to me before. And they're, they're actually true. Now... The psychopathic behavior doesn't change here. Think about it. Let's just say they were listening to the psychics, laughing at what they were hearing. Because, you know, they're good people. They just have an unusual pastime, hacking people, listening. Like food, after dinner entertainment. 
they're really good people at heart, hardworking American people, but, you know, they just have a, an, an unusual pastime. Now, what prompted them? All of a sudden, they went, what's the word? That they would turn into these people, recording everything I see and turn my life into a nightmare based on it. Based on absolutely nothing. Remember, we're talking about good people here with really nothing to hide, everything transparent. Except, you know, little things you do. The life is not, it's just, you're, you're just uh, Miss America, Mr. America, chump going about doing the job, going home, start the next day doing the job again, is, you know, paying the bills, making ends meet. You go from that to suddenly, I know, let's make her life a living hell, and over two years, stock and try to kill her and use all your savings to try to kill me to pay people to help you because they're not doing this alone of course not and don't worry with that double voice that came out let her try doing this speaking the way I am right now I will challenge her whatever she's trying to do I don't know wants to tell people what I'm possessed oh come come now I do this when I'm heightened and I'm in a heightened emotional state. This is how it comes out. I become sarcastic. I become, this is how I deal with it. I'm not harming anybody or hurting anyone. What I'm going to say, it, with these task force, think about this, but the extensive hacking that they're doing. Some of these people might have, like they're telling the, 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 the government on some level, like they know things. They know things. They have people who are psychics, people who are intuitive, people who can put things together, people who can see things, give them a few items, and then they'll put together a whole story of what is possible. That's what I think, part where I can, I don't know what it is. I think it's all bullshit. But this here, mark my word, what I'm going to say is true. This is what they're wanting me to believe and say. I'm going to say it anyway. I don't really have anything to lose. I'm not looking for, 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 for the U.S. presidency, which I cannot, and I wouldn't want it anyway, to be responsible for that many people's lives. That would be a coward in me, but yes, I'm just saying. The thing is, they're electing the task force. They're part of this election process. Now, let me ask you a question. There's a hundred police officers to, to, to put in this task force. I mean, it's not police officers only, I'm just saying. I know that I'm a bad person, right? I know I'm a bad person. I know I've done some things. I know that 50 of them don't believe in this at all, that these things are happening, it's that bad. They have no idea, no clue where to start. Then the other 50, or at least 20, let's say 20 of the 100, have some clue. And if they get together, and they put it together, they're going to come up with a solid plan of where to fry my ass. And I am in a position to elect these 20 people for this task force. Who do you think I'm going to elect? Any one of the 20? No, 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 no. These other ones will be like chickens with their heads cut off, running around in circles. What is this? I don't know. What is this? I don't know. My friend mentioned the exploitation and human trafficking of children. I don't know if that's what this is about. I don't know the role that these people play. I don't understand this. But I do know one thing.
is that we should not be afraid. And if there's people out there, young ones out there, who are scared and are running, scared of something, these are the ones we should try to help. Growing up as an empath, I always had this fear of what it is to be lost. And my dad had it too. I thought he, was, he biologically and psychologically passed this, transferred this fear down to me, but maybe it's my own fear. Because I could feel it in parts of my body. Of being lost. This image of two o'clock in the morning and it's raining and it's cold. And I'm walking down a dark street and all the doors are closed. Feeling lost. This image, I don't know where it came from, but it stayed with me. It wasn't my personal experience. It's not an easy thing. It just elicited that feeling of some something is off, you know. Why these people are doing this, I don't know. I'm not looking for glory. I don't want glory. I just want people to be safe and healthy and happy. Because that's what it's all about. It's like this exploiting this group over here so that this group over here they can rescue them or they can help them every life matters every life matter they work they look some people are just looking for glory when we should be looking out for each other that's all i'm saying We're looking for glory. Anyway, I'm gonna stop the video. Try to be positive no matter what you do. Try to be positive.